Hello guys, welcome to TR Tech. Today I'll show you how to install Ubuntu on any Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer without needing a USB stick. You want to download the required files. So if you open, um, I'm just going to open Microsoft Edge here, but you can do this on any browser. You have to search for two things. You have to search for Ruby UEFI and um, this GitHub link, which I'll put in the description will appear then you want to click on the latest release and you want to scroll down to the bottom and you want to download this file and the other thing you want to download is ubuntu so if you want to search for ubuntu 22.04 the author of ruby did not create one for 24.04 even though you can update it once you install it so that's a workaround you can use for the time being but what you want to do is you want to download ubuntu 22.04.4 specifically and you want to download this desktop image uh, amd64 and once you download those you want to put them in the same folder so i have that right here okay so once you have both of these files which i do you want to run the ruby installer and once you run it you will have this pop-up so first you want to select the drive which you want to install on which is the C drive in this case. Then you want to select how much storage you want to give to Ubuntu. Uh, you can ignore the desktop environment. You, can, you only can use this if you don't have this file, but instead download a different flavor of Ubuntu, which I won't get to right now. Here is where you can choose a language. Here is where you type in your username and your password. Edit. And you have to type it twice. And once you type in everything, you press install. Once it's finished, you want to select reboot now. And then click finish. And here, it will restart your computer. And once it restarts, it will say completing the Ubuntu installation. You can see that it is booting. Here is where you want to select more information about the Ubuntu installation. So first, it'll ask what apps you want to install. Uh, and there'll be two options. There'll be a normal installation and minimal installation. The normal installation contains, as you can see, a browser, some utilities, like an office suite, etc. And a minimal installation just has a web browser and basic stuff. In the other options, you want to download the updates and you also want to install the third party software. You want to continue. And it is going to install here. You can click this arrow here to see more information. It has completed. And now what you want to do is you will want to force restart the computer by, you know, holding down the power button for five seconds and then turning it back on. I'll just simulate that with this virtual machine. And it's, oh yeah. And now it will show a menu where you can choose the operating system you want to use and um, I'll just use Ubuntu this time so you'll press one you'll press Ubuntu and now you can type in your password and here it is so you can t sign in with your account if you want to 
uh, you can skip this for now. Uh, select no. Uh, if you if you want apps to to know your like location, you can turn that on, but I'm not. And you can click done.